He was just an OC. Teabagging in video games is now considered what? Hey, it's up? now considered as assault? Guys, Rev here. If it wasn't clear already, we really are living in clown world these days. And no, that was not permission to make clussy jokes in the comment section. But if you follow this channel at any capacity, you've seen the dangers of giving room temperature IQ NPCs access to a global microphone, aka social media. And I regret to inform you that today is no different. The taking question that teabagging characters in video games is a form of real life sexual assault. Now, believe it or not, this discourse is one that people have been attempting to push for years, but it was revitalized on a large scale after this viral tweet. It states, I don't know who needs to hear this, but teabagging in video games is not sexual assault. So now let's look at the Discord screenshots included in this tweet. Yo, are we really getting to that point now where people are saying teabagging is sexual assault? This generation is full of pussies. This is the softest generation. Bro, back, like I keep saying, back in my day, bro, I was called the N-word, the F-word, uh, the B-word, and not bitch. I'm talking about the, the ones where they be like, you know, when you're Spanish, they call you the B-word. They say they're going to do left, back, up, down, all types of foul shit in my family and my mom, and I'm here and I'm still okay. Motherfuckers out here is crying over a tea bag. I wish I could grab these people and take them back to 2009. Be like, yo, bitch, let's let's go to a Modern Warfare 4 lobby, bitch, because cause, cause y'all need to get some tough skin. There is there is no toughness out here, bro. Or back in Halo 2 days, oh, Halo 2, Halo 3, we're going to have to bring people back to this shit because it's like, yo, everybody's a fucking snowflake. The first user stating, That's crazy. Yep, and then we get into games where people think it's okay to teabag and that it's funny. When in reality, it's sexual assault. Ugh, we live in a gross world. Eh, sounds like a skill issue, to be honest. If you don't want to get teabagged, then uh, don't let your character die in the first place. Exactly. But well, the next screenshot begins with this response. If teabagging is sexual assault, I'm a repeated sex offender. I mean, look, if teabagging people in World of Warcraft constitutes sexual assault, you might as well call me Reb says multiple felony convictions. But this user responded with, I mean, it is sexual assault. If I do not consent and someone rubs their genitals in my face, that's sexual assault. Bro, me reading this makes me want to do it more. So next time I play a first person shooter and I beat someone, I'm definitely teabagging times 10 now. I wouldn't be proud of being a repeat offender. You may think it's just a video game. Well, I grew up with a large crowd of boys who did that for fun all the time to other people in real life. It's not funny. It's disgusting. Okay, that's completely different. If in real life, you're laying down and somebody legit took out their balls like a tea bag and rubbed that shit on your head, you should have just punched the dude in the dick and then he would have never done it again. But if we're playing a video game and this shit is happening and, and, and you're considering it as sexual assault, there's just something wrong with you. First of all, what kind of people was this person hanging out exactly, with? Exactly, that's the what I'm saying. They can't separate someone doing this in real life versus in a video game is the red flag you're looking for. And the final screenshot continues on with this one user claiming that when it comes to teabagging video game characters, there is no excuse for sexual assault and blah, 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 blah. Now, this discussion raises a few questions. Like, if teabagging a character is sexual assault, then is killing their character also murder? That seems like a fair extension. Oh, of here logic. we go. And the next question is, how much do I need to pay for footage of someone reporting that they got teabagged in a video game to the police? because I would give a substantial sum to see that put into action. Wow. But in all seriousness, there are people in this thread and all over Twitter defending the concept of e-assault via virtual teabagging in the year 2022. Enough is enough, man. If this isn't proof that we need a complete overhaul of the educational system, then I don't know what else would do it. The takes were so bad that even Charlie, aka Moist Critical, weighed in on the issue with this tweet. I just read a large thread about how someone watched their teammate get teabagged in Valorant and it left them traumatized. Oh my Video games God! Aren't real, you didn't just witness necrophilia or sexual assault. Holy shit! And Charlie's tweet brought up the discussion about how this current generation would never survive. That's what I'm saying, bro. Movies, which, while that might be true, but speaking on behalf of a disgusting boomer who lived through that era, it wasn't some utopia of free speech. It was just a bunch of 12-year-olds screeching slurs while their mom was in the other room making them grilled cheese. 
I can guarantee you living through Yes, that's true. But at the end of the day, during that era, if you did not know how to hold yourself down in a lobby, you will get eaten. Every time you went into a Call of Duty lobby, it was legit like you being thrown in the water. And if you didn't swim, you're going to sink. So if you jumped in a lobby and you're squad up with your boys and you met another group of people that squad up, the second I jumped into the lobby, I... Yo, the second I jumped into the lobby, it was me starting the 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 negativity. The second I came in, I'd be like, proper darling, look at this bitch ass motherfucker right here. Proper darling puts on his headset. Bro, what, what who the fuck is this man? Your name is Manny seven seven six zero seven, bro. You probably do this, that, and the third, some some racist Spanish shit. And I'd be like, yeah, man, I probably do do that. And I fuck your mom in the ass, bitch. Yo, bugging out. Yo, off rip. Like I would just go crazy in the lobbies. Then the second and I, and then you know when you kill them, and, and then like in the Call of Duty matches, whenever like the, there's the split and it goes into the next round, and then everybody's um headsets start working before it goes into the next round, bro. I used to be nuts. I used to be like, yeah, town bitch, I beat your ass, right? You saw that drop shot, the drop shot, right? I drop shot your bitch ass. Yo, shut the fuck up, shut the fuck. Yo, craziness. You gotta, you gotta get it. You gotta get that craziness, man. Through that. Won't land you a you need the chaos at your local Denny's. But I just hope there's some level of sanity here where people will realize that being teabagged in video games is a product of fiction and nothing more, and is in no way equivalent to real life sexual Taking assault. Let's not trivialize such a serious real life all, subject to something fall. that happens in video when games. Play, you play but that's good. So taking an L in the lobby really be that AOT song lyrics, lost it all, slip and fall, and when you play Call of Duty, you playing two games at once. Bro, and I can't lie, man, I've been in situations where, like, I would talk shit in a lobby and I would lose. And then when I lost, motherfuckers be like, you quiet. You quiet now, huh? And then I'll still be talking shit and I'll be like, yeah, I lost. Yo, back out, bro. 1v1 me in the lobby right now. No stun grenades. And then they're going to be like, bro, I already beat your ass. And I'll be like, back out. Rust. 1v1. If you use stun grenades, you a pussy. And then they'd be like, nah, I'm not backing out. I'm not backing out. But I remember one time, man, my friend was a hacker. I don't know if I told um, chat the story. Maybe I did. But my friend was a hacker one time. Um, we, um, he, uh, I'm trying to remember. We had a hacked PS3. One of my friends did. We were fighting with someone in the lobby. We invited them to my friend's lobby. And my friend was the host of the lobby. He had a hacked PS3. We all jumped in the lobby and that guy was talking shit. My friend was talking shit. My friend ended up resetting his account. I think he was like 10th prestige. We put that motherfucker back to level one and we booted him. You said, <laughs> you said hack troll? Yo, we used to do fucked up shit back in the day. Yo, we, we took all his stats and reset his shit. And we were like, get the fuck out of my lobby. Do for this video. Hope you all enjoy it. But that was like way back in the PS3. My friend managed to hack his PS3. You said, that's fucked up, bro? Yo, I'm, I'm telling you, back in the day, we were toxic. This is why I, I'm still that one person where like I would be in the war with PlayStation versus Xbox. Because I grew up in that era, and, and, and it's just my inner toxicity. Today on Splatoon, all them two hundred rank X sweats would mold hard. Yo, that'd be nuts if you could do that. You probably can do that. There's probably like an exploit that you could do that, but I, I don't know how to do it. You said, explain why why would you would be so damn toxic? It, it's just, it's just I don't know, man. It, it was a different time. We would just jump into lobbies and just have pure animosity. Like, motherfuckers is in the lobby screaming shit like, I'm gonna kill you! Ah, type shit. You still fighting that war with Xbox? Yes, my, my own mental little war with Xbox. Spider-Man can meet me at the D... You know what it is? When the new Modern Warfare comes out, that's why I kind of want to get it. Just so I can play online and talk shit in lobbies. When the new Modern Warfare 2 comes out, and if the online is good, I want to talk shit in lobbies, man. Retro, hop on Cuphead, and it'll come back out. 
True, but but the toxicity comes out more towards the game and not like an actual person. When you like, like you know, target that animosity towards a specific person is different. You said, bro, we gotta play Apex so we can teabag the enemies. Yes, we do. Yes, we do.